I'm Clint Hawking. I'm the creative director on Far Cry 2, and I'm going to talk a little bit about weapons and the economy and diamonds and, and how you unlock weapons in the game. Uh, first of all, we have over 30 weapons in the game. And uh, the way you get access to weapons is by purchasing them from the arms dealers. Uh, the weapons that you pick up from the enemy during the game are all rusty and worn down. And with the reliability system, that means that enemy weapons are not something you want to be relying on through the game. So they might have weapons that you don't have access to. They might be better than your weapons, but they're going to jam all the time. They're going to misfire. You probably don't necessarily want to be, be dealing with those or relying on those. You're going to need to unlock your own weapons. In order to unlock new weapons, uh, you go to the weapon shop. And there's a weapons vendor there. He's not, uh, he's not the jackal. He's not the guy you've been sent to He's another arms dealer, and he sells guns through his old computer that you sort of order online, and uh, and then he has them available for you to purchase. You sit down, you you interact with the computer there, and it opens like a little you know mini web application that allows you to sort of add guns to your cart and do the little checkout, and then pay for your weapons there. Purchasing the weapon unlocks for additional purchase sort of two manuals that support the weapon: the the repair and maintenance manual, which increases the weapon's uh, uh, reliability and allows it to last longer in, in battle, and then the the operations manual, which increases its, its damage, I think. Not counting your machete, you can carry three weapons at the same time. A primary weapon, just like rifles, sniper rifles, assault rifles, shotguns. A secondary weapon, which is like pistols, one-handed submachine guns, and special weapons like the flamethrower, machine guns, the RPG, stuff like that. For each of those classes of weapon, there's a weapons crate that you can buy that allows you to put an extra weapon in storage, and, and those, those storage crates appear at all of your safe houses in the world as you unlock them. The weapons that you unlock are brand new, so you never need to worry about them jamming very frequently. They'll still wear down over time, you know, if you fire 10 thousand rounds off with your spaz 12 it's going to start to jam misfire malfunction eventually it'll it'll bust in half in your hands if you if you abuse it too much but the point is now you're now you don't need to rely on enemy weapons you've got your own weapons anytime you go back to the armory you can just grab a brand new uh, spaz 12 off the wall or a brand new ak or a brand new m16 they all have different stats right the ak-47 is does a lot of damage but it's not super accurate the range isn't great the recoil is really high and it has really great reliability so you can just that weapon can just take a lot of punishment you can have it for a really long time before it's starts to misfire. The AR-15, on the other hand, it, it jams a lot, it's really hard to manage, but it's very, very accurate, fires in nice tight bursts, and, and does has really good penetration. So it's really just sort of what style suits you best. So how do you pay for all this cool stuff that you've unlocked at the weapon shop? So the answer is diamonds. You get paid for doing your main missions in the game by the by the warlords, the captains, their lieutenants. You get paid in in, in blood diamonds, conflict diamonds, rough, uncut diamonds that are, that are valuable, uh, but that are kind of like currency in these kind of uh, uh, failed states. Scattered all throughout the world, there's, there's hundreds of diamonds uh, in briefcases that you can find using a little tracking device on your GPS and, and homing beacons that are in the cases that are sort of scattered around. The economy is really carefully balanced. I mean, there's exactly a thousand diamonds in the game, but the point is, if, you don't, if you're not into exploration, you're definitely going to be able to, you know, just do the main missions. You'll have enough diamonds that you can buy all of the weapons and, and several of the manuals and plus some of the other equipment and cool stuff that's available. If you're a hardcore explorer and you really want to spend a lot of time in the world, you'll also be able to buy all of the weapons just through exploration, not really worrying too much about the about the main missions. And really it's it's the other half of the diamonds that you're not getting as easily depending on sort of which kind of player you are. It really gives you a lot more freedom how you play the game and sort of uh, gives you a lot of flexibility in the decisions that you make. And I think uh, for Far Cry 2 having you know flexibility to, to change your mind on the fly is a, is a really important part of the game.